Hi, my name is Lincoln Ward. I'm the director of the Austin Tennis Center here in Austin, Texas. Today we're going to talk about what the fuzz on your tennis ball does. Uh, as you can see, this tennis ball is a little bit fuzzy on the top. Um, over time, uh, your new can of ball will start to develop fuzz. You, the, the tennis ball is actually um, a rubber encased uh, pressurized ball with a felt covering. That felt helps to grip the, the tennis, the, the racket strings, so that you can um, modify the type of spin you're putting on the ball. Now, over time, the, uh, the, the, the ball turns from very little fuzz to a lot of huge fuzz to these little knotty fuzzing, as you can see from this. Now, the fuzz will actually affect the aerodynamics of the ball, so it slows it down in the air. So yes, it's the, the, um, the uh, felt helps to give you a little more bite on the ball, but over time it starts to act against what you want and slows the ball down. So if you're ever, if you're ever watching tennis on TV and you see uh, the, tennis, the tennis players uh, get three or four balls and they're looking at them and they throw a couple of them back, they're looking for the ball with the least amount of fuzz on it because that's going to go aerodynamically much faster as they serve it to their opponent. They want every advantage they can take when they're playing at that level and against those kind of opponents. So they might pull some of the fuzz off or take a look at it and figure out which one works better. This one's obviously a little more ratty than this one is, so I would use this one to serve that next point. My name's Lincoln Ward and that's what the fuzz in your tennis ball is for.